Hey lovelies and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today's video we're going to be reviewing the Model 1's all-in-one salon kit. Uh, you can get this off of Amazon. I think it's on the UK Amazon and the USA Amazon. So this kit is all you need for doing nails. The only thing you would have to buy yourself would be slip solution and um, cuticle oil. Slip solution, you can use anything that's like 70% isopropyl alcohol and above. So this comes with two, like two, well, it comes with a tray and then it comes with stuff underneath. So we are going to look at the tray first. So the tray uh, has your three poly gels, your top and base coat, UV gel cleansers, and then eight cream, solid cream gels. It, oh, I say eight, it's actually six solid cream gels. And then there's two, um, two like glitter gels i couldn't think of the word so like i said there are three poly gels they are 15 grams each they all come sealed sealed well by the way i was like i couldn't get the lid off and here are the swatches so you get a pink a white and a clear the pink is a little transparent i will admit that you also get a base coat and a top coat model one's top coat is my absolute favorite out of all top coats i love the brush and i just love the shine i i don't know i just i love model one's base uh, top coat so yeah, I don't really care about base coat. Base coats are all the same to me. <laughs> so these are their um, solid cream gels. Solid cream paints, I think they call them. So there is six different um, solid creams here. And then the last two are glitter gels. And they're basically, it's a, it's a, it's a gel with glitter in, uh, with different like sizes. And it's holographic. So there's one blue and one silver. Um, these I've used before. They are really nice. And I'd highly recommend these gel these solid cream gels might like on their own i know that model ones do sell them on their own and i do love these uh solid creams so basically as we're swatching now i'm going to explain a little bit so i have a lot of these colors already these solid creams because they are so nice to work with they're so creamy they're like butter and they don't move they stay still you know they don't dribble everywhere they are so oh they're just lush to work with honestly guys i'd highly recommend them um and they're one coat coverage, so you don't have to worry about like thickening your nail with like with these. Also, they do not move in that pot. I had the ones I already have. I had them on a shelf sideways in their pot, so the the lids were pointing outwards, and they haven't moved in their tubs. Not not once. Like I did no dribbling, nothing. It's great. Uh, so the first one was thirty four, and it was a beautiful lilac purple, lilac or violet. I don't know what you want to call it. That second one was 33 and it was the most beautiful like milk chocolate colour. Oh, I love it. I, I can't wait. I'm going to do some chocolate sort of nails. I don't know, but I'm going to do something with that colour because that colour was just beautiful to me. Uh, then it also has that other colour. It's like a peachy magnolia cream sort of nude colour, which is really nice. This here in the pot it's pink with like gold glitter. It's sort of transparent, but in that pot it looks like um, galaxy to me. I really, really do like that color. Um, I do have this color already, by the way. So the next one is like a burnt orangey red. It looks more orange on the camera, but it is actually red. Um, it's a really nice color. It's It gives me fall vibes though, uh, it, but you can use it any time of the year. I know, like I'm not saying that you can use it in fall and autumn, but yeah. Um, it was just a really, really nice colour, really nice rich colour. So the next one is like a baby pink. Now, I think they got the lids wrong because I have this baby pink and it's number three. And number four is actually a nude colour. It matches the lid better than what's in here. So I think they messed up here. They, there is, yeah, because <laughs> I have both colours already and I don't know what the hell is going on. So anyway, we're moving on now to the glitter ones. So these ones aren't actually solid uh, cream paints. They're, they're called solid cream paints, but these ones are uh, more gel and they are more runny. As you can see, they, you know, yeah. Uh, this one is Crystal Lake and it is a holographic blue. And then the last one is Oscar's Skirt and it is a holographic silver. These ones are really nice and I do like that they added these glitter ones into the kit. Because I've had a different kit, uh, one of these kits. I'll link all of the videos that I've got on these, by the way, in the cards. Um, there was no yellowing as well, by the way, with the uh, poly gels. <laughs> 
But yes, I do like that they added some glitter and some solid colours. I do like that. That's a nice touch. So this kit also comes with instructions and it literally has instructions for everything. I show you literally everything. It shows you what's in the kit, mostly asked questions, thank you for your order, um, how to prep your nail, how to do the gel extension, how to apply colour, how to do nail art, even how to uh, remove your nails and also some ideas. Um, it also comes with some removal pads, which are them ones there, uh, a, a lot of tools by the way. Uh, so a pack is for cleaning the gel and then another pack is like acetone to remove your nails. So this kit does come with uh, some tweezers, a brush, a file, um, a cuticle pusher and a cuticle nippy thingy. I don't really like to use them. I, I get scared. I have used them, but I get scared that it's going to rip half my skin off. A nice pair of tweezers. These tweezers are really nice as well. I, I had this kit before and the tweezers were more blunt. These ones are much sharper. So yeah, um, a crap ton of striping tape, some uh, crystals, a, a dust brush, some dual forms and a little mini six watt lamp. I have this lamp and they are, it is a good lamp, but like I've said in a lot of my other videos, if you're using, like if you're going to do your nails, I would highly recommend a, a bigger lamp that's 48 watts and above LED UV, just because you want to make sure everything is cured all the way through. And of course, this does come with instructions for the lamp as well. So these are the dual forms. They are curved. I do not like curved. As you guys know, I don't like curved dual forms. So I didn't use them today. I actually used my tip ones, you know, the ones I used with the Emily Susanna kit. Um, I used them today because I wanted to do some extra long nails. This video, guys, is not, and I will repeat, it is not a... Uh, look at my nail. This is a fail video. I've got to be honest. So I wanted to try. Remember in my Emily Susanna um, McCart review video? I couldn't think of words then. <laughs> I said I wanted to try the tip jewel forms and the, like, the full covered jewel forms to see if we could use them together to create one big nail. I wanted to try it. It was an experiment. It didn't work all that great uh so i am just <laughs> we'll talk about that more in a second but i am just showing you how you would prep your nail so you'd push back your cuticles take away any of the dust and dead skin with like the other end file away the shine use some dehydrator and some primer go in with base coat and cure for 60 seconds of course i am using peel off base coat and i'm so glad that i did uh I, this is barry m it's my favorite peel off base coat it's absolutely fab it's so good guys i'd highly recommend it if you want a peel off base coat and I also got these like little cardboard cutout uh, flowers from Amazon a while ago. And I just, I thought I'm going to use these today because we are coming up to spring. So let's get some spring nails out. You know, like we're all sick of the Christmas ones and the winter ones. Now let's get some flowers in our nails because, yeah. <laughs> so basically I just opened up the flaps on the box that I wanted uh, the flowers from, which ones I wanted to use. I just used my tweezers and just stuck them onto the table and I pushed them to the side just so that I wasn't fiddling around with the lid. You can take these lids off by the way. If you pop up the lids on these like little um, grids, if you pop them up all on one side or both sides, you can actually pull the lid off so you don't have to worry about it like flapping around. It's just I'm lazy. So yeah. So to start off with, I wet my poly gel brush. I did use my own poly gel brush, but you can use the brushes in this kit. It's just I was using it for gel. <laughs> so I start with um, a bead of clear and I wick it up and down the nail, making sure that I cover the whole of the jewel form because I wanted to do some long nails. Um, and then what I done was I took my um, crystal katana, I think they're called. It's basically a gem picker. It's just wax on a pen. You can like you can melt some candle wax and just stick a tough pick toothpick not a toothpick a toothpick into the wet wax and then take it out and let it dry and then that will work as a crystal katana or whatever you want to call them a gel a jewel uh, i can't even speak a gem picker <laughs> so yeah you can use them if you want you guys uh and then i used my um the other end of my my tool here just to bend the flowers because this is the pinky so some of the flowers are a bit big I have a very small pinky finger uh, so I had to make sure that they fit so what I'd done was I flicked on my light pressed the nail onto my finger and then I stuck my hand into the lamp and held it there for 10 seconds before curing for another 20 seconds I cured each nail for 10 then 20 so 30 seconds in total but you have to hold these in place because they will fall off 
So the next nail, I just done a full white nail on the tip. Um, this nail wasn't too bad. <laughs> After uh, uh, the next white nail that I do though on my index finger, that's where everything just decides to go wrong. And I was like getting so frustrated. But you guys know I am always determined. I will never give up on anything. I am so determined that it's probably annoying <laughs> to other people. But I wanted to try my best to see if this like idea worked. Um, and it does. It is kind of... You'll see. Anyway, so I do a full white nail because I didn't want to do like flowers on every single nail. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Uh, here I am holding my hand in the lamp before sticking it in again. Uh, so the next nail then I put some clear down and I put more flowers in and then I used, I think it was Oscar's skirt. Yeah, the, the silver one, the silver glitter one. Before I cured, basically what I'd done was I just scooped some of the glitter gel out of the pot and I put it in on top of the wet poly gel and the the flowers and then I stuck it onto my finger and then I cured so and it works you can do that I was, I was thinking I want to put glitter in it but like how am I going to put glitter inside when it's gel because it's a dual form and I thought I'll just try it this way and it worked so yeah I don't know if anyone else has tried it probably because it's, it's it, yeah <laughs> so anyway I, like I said I pushed some flowers in and then uh, I put the stuff on top stuck on my finger and cured so the next finger <laughs> oh the next finger oh gosh um no it okay the top the tip was fine basically what I'd done was I'd done a clear I'd done some clear poly gel I added flowers and some glitter and then I put the white poly gel on top that cured to my nail with this bit um my thumb on the other hand I couldn't get the white poly gel to cure in my lamp I don't know why, but for some reason, the um, my thumbnail it just it just wouldn't cure. It was so strange, and uh, it was curing the other nail, so I don't know why it wasn't curing my thumb. Uh, so in the end, I gave up on my thumb, <laughs> and I just used a full cover dual form to uh, do my nail. <laughs> <laughs> I had gotten so sick of trying to make the thumb work that I was like, do you know what, I'm done. <laughs> it was like getting late as well and I hadn't even finished. I was halfway through the set. I was like, I've got to get this done. So basically what I'd done then was, yeah, I just used a full cover tip. So the thumbnail is a bit shorter, but I know a lot of people and, and me as well, when I do wear nails, I make my thumbnail shorter anyway because the... um like car seats and the seat belts in the car and you know like day-to-day -day tasks and stuff so yeah I do and I know a lot of people do as well so it's not necessarily bad uh, so yeah there's a thumb <laughs> so now we're moving on to the experiment I guess uh so the white didn't work again here it didn't this is where it started the white was just like no nah, I don't want to work with you anymore I'm done I it was retiring on me or something I don't know what happened but uh, I was like, right, okay, now it's time to try out that experiment. So I put some into the nail bed area, stuck it down onto my nail, stuck my hand in the lamp for 60 seconds, and it didn't cure. It wouldn't cure. I don't know why. It was just like, no, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. And I was able to actually just peel it back off of the nail. So I was like, okay, I have to readjust it. So after, like, I cleaned it up and everything. It was just sliding everywhere. Um... I decided to go with the pink in the end because the white was just hating on me for no apparent reason. It was just doing my head in by the end. Uh, so yeah, I went with the pink instead and I will, that does come up in a second. Uh, here we go. See that it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't cure. It didn't, it didn't want to cure and it wasn't that thick as well. So in case anyone goes, hey, you probably put it on too thick. No, I didn't. Um, before anyone says that, I didn't. So <laughs> next week, so now we're trying the pink. So I was like, all right, okay. So I needed to push it down so that it traveled all the way up the nail and it kind of like um, merged together. It, it you can pro I probably just needed a bit more practice, but it didn't work on that nail. Um, and then, so I tried it again. And this time I was like, right, if I put clear at the top and then I put the pink in the nail bed area uh, and like ombre them together, it, sh it might work. It... 
it didn't. It sort of did, it didn't. It Basically, you could see the ridge between the two, even with it, like, smoothly, like, embedding down i'd done two nails and i used my e-file to try and clean it up yes i used my e-file guys i'm getting better at it and soon you will see you know i'll start showing you but right now i just want to make sure that i'm decent with my nail file my electric file before i actually start like trying to give advice on it do you know what i mean because i'm not even that great at it and before i even said remember i'm not a professional i'm a diyer this is what i do for fun and i just share my ideas with you guys uh because you guys are amazing uh but anyway so we do the same again to the next nail ignore the ridge on that uh, ring finger by the way because we actually paint that nail with a solid color uh and then we do the next nail here is where i was like right okay the dual forms are not working so i was like i try the white again this did cure this one did cure and i was like well, what's going on so i don't know what was happening with the dual forms but the white didn't want to cure in it but the second that i'd done it manually on my own um it worked so I don't know. I honestly, I think because white is just an opaque color, it's actually one of the hardest colors. I think that I personally, I've like when curing, white is just a nightmare. But those flowers do look really good, don't they? Let's let's be honest. So then, like, and I will link everything down below in the in the description. I know I've talked a lot in this video, but who cares, right? <laughs> so anyway, I whipped the poly gel on my index finger out of frame apparently because I'm an idiot um I, gosh I, it's, I moved further out of frame um i was just making sure it was tidy uh, so basically i just pulled and patted it into the place pulling it down my into my um cuticle face and then wicking it up the nail and then i go in with my nail file shaping and buffing i, I took the filing out because this video was actually really long guys it was like over two hours so i had to like cut it down because i can't well i can upload a two hour video if i wanted to but like that's just, that's just no <laughs> so i filed shaped and buffed as best i could um and then i went in with the i think it was is it number 34 the purple lilac -y color i picked purple flowers so i was like okay so we need to keep it the purple theme and i painted my thumbnail and my ring finger purple so that's why i didn't mind about like that big gaping like straight line of white to pink um oh and to fix that pinky finger because there was a ridge i went back in with some clear poly gel i have left it all in the video i'm just trying to think in case i forget uh, i went in with some clear poly gel and i blended the two together so that they they worked well so these didn't turn out perfectly they're still nice i want to try this again for sure and i want to try a different sort of similar design um because it was just yeah i had lots of fun you can see the hole i don't know why but they put like a little sticky thing like little like sharp points in the ends of the jewel form i don't know why they do that because it just creates a hole and it's so annoying and then you like the whole point of jewel forms is so that you don't have to file on top of your nail uh but i filled the hole in with some with some solid cream gel <laughs> uh there was still a little bit of a ridge on this finger so what i'd done was to hide it i i used uh, my macart rhinestone glue <laughs> and i just hid the line with some jet with some uh flowers and uh rhinestones so you can't see it but it's there uh so yeah just uh the uh, the here i am obviously painting uh just make sure you clean up around your cuticles don't let the the poly gel cure your skin here i am now fixing that pinky because it looked absolutely horrendous um but yeah other than that guys i then i think i added some top coat and, that, and some cute color and that was pretty much it so yeah it, it's a it's a nice set to work with i wasn't too happy with the white i've worked with a lot of model ones products in the past as you guys have known as you've seen and all i do have videos um but i haven't done a kit in a while for model ones so i was like i want to yeah i just wanted to do a kit and this one was here and I, and I got to play with different colors and stuff as well so yeah uh so i am now going in with some top coat <laughs> um what else what else um oh yeah so this video was meant to go up on wednesday i do apologize um i lost track of my days and i'm not joking i thought it was tuesday and my kids went back to school on wednesday um and it was all a kerfuffle because we have we've been in lockdown for well since christmas in here in wales so 
we had to try and get back into routine and because of all the like the, the rush and we haven't been in routine for so long uh it just Wednesday just took over and I had no time to finish editing and stuff like that um and then I was meant to upload uh yesterday um on about a Thursday now I was meant to upload then but I was having problems with uh my internet my internet kept like going up and down and I was like okay I'm not gonna yeah uh so yeah it's coming up Friday but I will make sure I upload tomorrow as well okay so you will have two videos still this week it's just gonna have one on Friday and one on Saturday um I just yeah this week's just been like whoa what's going on but thank you for being patient with me and uh we'll <laughs> try and get back into normal routine um but yeah so anyway like I said these are the gems now that I'm sticking on uh the um, a cart gem glue by the way i've got a 15 percent off code and an affiliate link down below in the description box you don't have to use them of course if, but if you do i do get a small commission back and it helps me out a, a little bit the gem glue though you don't have to put top coat over it it's a non-tack that's why it's just so good and i absolutely love it and it, it it holds your gems in place you don't have to worry about losing any of them you you can also use like uh rhinestone other rhin uh, no what am i trying to say you can use nail glue or top coat but i just prefer to use my carts um rhinestone glue uh yeah as you can see the nails they, they turn out okay but i want to try again because i know that i can do better and i just need to practice um but yeah i love long nails and i hope someone eventually does if any companies ever watch this video please make longer jewel forms okay full cover longer jewel forms please because we want them and we will buy them i hope someone watches this and runs to their manager like boss got an idea for you <laughs> but yeah i wish that they did because it'd be nice to like yeah you're already doing tip ones and stiletto shaped ones and straight and curved. so why not do longer ones do you know what I mean? <laughs> Someone do it, please. Um, and also, if you're not going to do that, then instead of putting jewel forms in every kit, <laughs> I wish they'd put full cover tips. <laughs> because we use full cover tips more than what we do jewel forms. I've got so many jewel forms, guys, honestly. If I if I covered, if I I covered emptied all my jewel forms out, I could probably cover the floor with all the jewel forms that I have from kits that I've received and bought in the past it's just beyond so i do gems again sorry i've talked a lot again well no i'm not sorry because i like talking to you guys and i also want to know what you think of the nails down below don't forget to tell me and if you have any ideas on like how i could work the two jewel forms together uh please let me know so here is the cuticle oil so i just stick that onto my cuticles i've really babbled a lot haven't i i'm sorry that i've babbled and yeah and i'm sorry that i've missed I missed Wednesday, but I'm here. Hello, I'm here. Woohoo. So anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I've totally messed up my outro, but who cares? I hope you're all staying safe. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Um Yeah, let me know down below in the bot in what you think. And I will see you all in my next video, guys. Bye! This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose